This is a, uh, a counter to the Kimura from the, from the half guard. If he's got me and a Kimura from the bottom of the half guard, um, it's kind of a cool counter. And then after that, if he does get out of my counter to his counter, I would have another attack set up right after that. So sometimes you get caught in this Kimura here. Generally what happens is, is if this is if this is like just no he jujitsu, a lot of times guys go for this and they just pull out right away. If it's slippery. If it's key jujitsu, this where this comes from is where he is, it's very hard to pull out once he's got it locked up. If he's got a good grip, he's got the whole thing locked up. It's again, even if it's no gi, it's hard to pull out. So if he's got it here, the first thing that I want to do so he doesn't pull it out, finish me here, is at least the first thing I want to do is use my leg to block. So I'm grabbing my own leg. Sometimes I can actually grab his leg, but I need to block somehow. Okay, just to keep myself from getting into the position. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna counter his Kimura with the Kimura. I'm gonna reach in here, I'm gonna grab his wrist. Then I'm gonna grab my wrist, my forearm, pull it out, and then I'm gonna pull it out. So that's the first part of it. Arm like this in the Kimura. Okay, the first thing you gotta get it, I gotta stop it from happening. If it's locked in, if I can just rip out of it, then it will. And right here, I'm gonna grab his wrist, and my forearm. Kimura. The next part though is, is if he counters my Kimura, that I count his Kimura with. I'm just gonna go to the darts of the Japanese necktie position. It's kind of cool. Arm here, I block, reach in, I hook up my Kimura. As I pull it out, sometimes what he'll do is he'll straighten his arm out. If I swim through to this hand, I can finish there. If I swim through with the other hand, then I go to the Japanese necktie position, the bars position. I sort of like the Japanese necktie better. Here. I swim through here. I already have his leg hooked with my leg. <coughs> so, I have several different chances to, to count up the count. Kimura is especially from the half guard from the bottom. That's a really like big guy against the smaller guy technique. If you're a big guy, you can usually get Kimura from the bottom. Okay. Also from the top from the half guard. So definitely it's a good time to go for it. Um, the reason I like this move is because if you are a littler guy, or it doesn't matter what size you are, you're getting Kimura from the bottom, it's kind of cool to do a move to a guy that he's already doing to you. I don't think I know any other move where you get to counter with the exact same move that's even tighter and it's better. And then right from there, you can just go right to your Japanese necktie position, or right to that Pez dispenser head and arm choke thing, and then you finish up. The one thing I'd say about the whole half guard Kimura game is a lot of times I see it and I see it happen in the third round in the fight when people are super, super tired. If you're gonna go for these Kimuras, it's better to do it right away when you're strong. A lot of people do it as an last ditch effort. The other thing I'd say about it is, is that it's a really good thing to have to put in tandem with your pass. So if you're in half guard and you wanna pass the half guard, you can go for a traditional Brazilian Jiu Jitsu head and arm game and use your leg to pass, open the half guard pass. But if you can attack at the same time, if you can attack with your Kimura at the same time that you're trying to pass that half guard, or turn that half guard into the hook for the Japanese necktie, then you've turned what he had into something against him. And that's always a good thing to do. He has that Kimura, you turn it into something against him. He's got that half guard, you use that as the hook for the Japanese necktie, and then what happens is, is basically his advantage becomes his disadvantage, like that, in one step. Usually it takes more than one step for that thing.